we've got a 2020 20 plate KTM 1290 Super Adventure S on 6,369 miles. So first thing, it's the S, not the R. So it's the road orientated version. So it can do a bit of off-road, but if you really want to do off-road, there is the R model, which comes with the orange frame and spoke wheels with a 21 inch front and 18. This is a much more traditional road going adventure bike setup. So let's give you a look around. So I'm going to show you every single mark I can find on the bike. So starting off with the screen, no damage at all on the screen, but you have got sort of the odd mark just from general use and washing. And obviously this screen is adjustable with this thumbnail here. I can't see any damage at all. Front tyre's got loads and loads of tread. Very, very, very slightly. Little bit of feathering on the front tyre. Nothing significant. And as I said, there's loads of tread still. Looking at the front wheel. Got the odd mark on it, but pretty much can't see any damage at all on there. Obviously front discs, great condition. So are the fork legs. Really good suspension as well. I've got electronically adjustable WP suspension and Brembo brakes on this. We've got a steering damper. These are the standard KTM engine bars. And then looking at the front of the engine, the header. Pretty much unmarked. So everything in front of here is all unpainted. It's all just normal sort of plastic panels. This panel backward now is painted and lacquered. Can't see. Tiny little stone chip there. These aren't scratches, just a little bit of polish from our valetin. So on the end, of the handguard, we have a tiny, tiny little rub mark. Not heavy scratches, just a tiny little rub mark like you get going through a gate or something like that. Nothing at all on the actual bar end, nothing on the end of the mirror. And then all the dash and the cockpit, all exactly as it should do. Really, really, really nice dash, full color. Like I said, there's the electronic WP suspension. Can't see any damage at all on top of the tank. I even got all the original stickers. And we've got the two piece seat. No rubs or marks or damage at all to the engine. All the foot pegs. Not even really any marks on the frame or anywhere where your feet go. Can't see any damage at all or marks on this panel. No marks or damage on the seat or the swing arm. Tiniest bit of paint chipping on the swing arm just there. Looking underneath as well, everything looks good. And the back wheel, pretty much the same as the front. Pretty much unmarked. Tiny little tiny little mark there but it's not paint chipped or anything and obviously the rear disc is still in great condition standard rear end on the bike it's got these integrated pannier racks so if you had the ktm oe luggage they would clip straight on there um, to be fair when people have luggage generally when we somewhere they want to change to give you a shad to be fair but if you had 
the KTM stuff, whether you bought it new or second hand, it goes onto there and onto there. It's got the rear rack, which you could either put a dry bag on um, or it's ready to accept a top box or a top box mountain rack. Obviously, China sprockets, as you'd imagine, pretty much like new. No issues there to talk about. Again, nothing at all on this panel. A couple of tiny rub marks just from the rider getting on and off the bike. And then again, this side's pretty much exactly the same. No marks, no damage, no scuffs anywhere at all. Okay, tiny little chip on that engine bar. Looks like it's been just touched in. Let me just check I haven't missed anything on this side. Nope, nothing at all. So on this side, there is a tiny chip and it's been touched in. It hasn't been down because if it had been down, these bits are what stick out most and they're not marked. Uh, again, can't see any stone chips, can't see any paint damage at all. Nothing on the mirror or the bar end. Nothing on the end of the handguard. So yeah, really, really nice bike. It's in our showroom now, it's sitting in one Kent. We're open from 9am to 5pm, Tuesday to Saturday. And if you've got any questions, please give us a call.